AP Physics 2, hello! I am here to walk you through our weekly calendar for next week, April 20th through April 24th. I miss you all so much. I am sick of teaching to a computer and answering questions. Um, not questions for you guys. I'm always happy to talk to you guys, but just the number of emails has been overwhelming. Um, so I hope you all are doing well. I'm sure you all are experiencing some of that too. Uh, let me know if I can help at all. We'll get through this together. Um, I'm here to support you and help you any way that I can. Moving on, learning goals for this week. We're going to start by applying our thermodynamic principles to an experimental setting. I feel that it's time for some practice. Um, and then I'm going to explain what a heat engine is, and I want you to be able to do the same. And then we're going to use our principles of thermodynamics to explain and analyze the energy transfers in a heat engine. So... Here's what I want for Monday and Tuesday. This is a 40 to 60 minute activity, which is why it consists of two days of work. I want you to find the purple folder on Schoology and open up the 2015 AP Physics 2 free response questions. And I want you to scroll down to question three. I want you to create a video explaining your solution to that question. The video must be under five minutes long because I have several of you uh, all of whom I need to watch videos for, so if they become too long, I just don't have the time to do it. So five minutes long. Uh, lots of ways you can do this. You can print the problem if you have a printer at home, do all the work, grab your phone and record uh, yourself explaining the work that you did. Point, point to an equation, say this equation means this, point to a graph, say this part of the graph tells me this, etc. If you don't have a printer, just do the same thing but on some uh, scratch paper. Um, if you want to use your computer the whole time, you can make a slideshow of your work um, and record yourself like I am right now presenting the slideshow. L-O-O-M, Loom, is what I'm using to do this uh, if you want to use the same tool. I found it very easy to pick up. It took me 10, like 10 to 15 seconds to really figure out how to use it. Very intuitive. Um, you can make a poster. Take a picture of the poster, upload your picture, and then rather than go through slides, um, you can just talk about the picture that's on the screen. Um, so it could be a poster. I guess it could also just be a piece of paper that you took a picture of. Um, so if you want to do it that way, um, rather than recording with your phone, but you still want to do handwritten work, do the handwritten work, take a picture of it, upload it to the computer, and then use your mouse uh, to point at different parts of your work as you're recording your screen. Or do something else. If I didn't, There's more than one way to do this. Those are just several suggestions. There's going to be a spot on Schoology where you can upload this. Wednesday, got an Edpuzzle video. This is me again. We're going to talk about what a heat engine is and what a pressure versus volume graph, a PV diagram, looks like for a heat engine. It's about 10 minutes long, that video, uh, you know, with pausing and taking notes, probably 15 minutes of work. Uh, Thursday, 20 minute video. So 25 to 30 minutes of viewing. This one's going to be an example problem for a heat engine. Uh, this gets into the nitty gritty detail. Next week, that next week, Monday, we'll look at summarizing that detail. Um, so there's a lot there, really important video, um, but it is, it is heavy. So if you need to, you know, pause, take a break, take a lap around the house, come back, continue if you need to. Uh, but do make sure you pay attention to everything that's there. And then Friday is a teacher work day. It's a time for us to do professional development, to uh, grow our online teaching tool belt. So um, no additional work. Use that time to catch up on anything you may be behind on. Um, so that's all I've got for that. I miss you all so much. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, if you need anything from me, please do not hesitate to reach out. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend and I look forward to any sort of time where we might be able to see each other in person again, whether it be a postponed graduation or anything like that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing you again.